Hello everyone and welcome to this Python for Automation Testing series and this is our 7th tutorial of this series and in this particular tutorial we will learn about what are operators in Python. So let's begin. So what are operators? So operators in Python are special keywords or the symbols and these symbols or the keywords are used to perform different operations on variables and values. So these are basically keywords or symbols used to perform operations on variables and values and they actually form the backbone of any logical or computational operation in the Python programs and especially when we talk about these operators these operators are essential for you know program for performing the arithmetic operation arithmetic operations then these operations can be used for logical operations then comparison and comparison comparison and and more so basically we can do different kind of operations using these operators and when you talk about these operators so in python there are different categories of these operators so what are these categories basically the first one is arithmetic operators and now the purpose of uh, these operators is basically to perform the basic mathematical operations like addition subtraction multiplication so these operators are used to perform perform basic maths operations like addition subtraction multiplication and so on multiplication and so on okay and then we have the second category is basically a comparison operator now what are the comparison operators these operators compare the value of two operands and return a boolean result so let's take an example here the example for example i say 10 is greater than 15 which is not true so basically it compare two numbers and say which one is the greater if we are saying that 10 is greater than 15 so it should return a false if we say that 15 is greater than 10 then it will return a true so basically comparison comparison operators number operators uh, operators are used to compare values of two operands and return a boolean result so boolean means either it will return a true or false okay. and then uh, we have a logical operators logical operators and these logical operators are basically used to combine the conditional statements and return a boolean results so used to combine conditional conditional statements and return negative return a return a boolean value again boolean means it will return either true or false then we have a bitwise bitwise operator bitwise operators and when we talk about these bitwise operators they are basically used to perform bit by bit operations on the binary numbers so use for use to 
perform bit by bit operations on binary numbers then we have assignment operators and these are used to assign values to the variables okay so basically they are used to assign a value to variable or variables okay and then we have identity identity operators and these operators are used to compare the memory locations of two objects okay so these are these are used to compare the memory locations of two objects and finally we have membership operators membership operators and these operators are used to test for a membership in a sequence okay so are used to test the membership membership in the sequence so when we talk about sequence we are talking about uh, you know this the strings the strings list or tuples so basic uh, this is the basic idea about uh, the operators and the different categories so in our upcoming tutorials what we will do is that we will learn more about these operators one by one so for example there are multiple arithmetic operators we will see what are those operators and we'll see the different examples against each operators and similarly we will look into the other comparison operators logical operators bitwise operators we'll see what are different operators available against these categories and how we can use them practically with the multiple examples thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial